Hello. Hey. Hey, babe, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm not good or I'm not happy at all. What's going on? What's all this on the internet? <sighs> See, eh? I woke up this morning, I prayed, I meditated, I went to the gym, I thought it was going to be a great day. Something was telling me that today is going to have some some curveballs in it, right? But yeah. exclusive to post. Everything's, everything's going to be good. Um, from the gym, I went to the salon. First, I went to the nail salon, got my nails done. Then I went to the hair salon to arrange my hair for idols on Sunday. So I walked into the salon, or tie your cuts on a knee, some, something knee, you can be whatever. And I saw Tiwa. As I saw Tiwa, I, I sat down. I said, "Let me just chill, do you understand? And let me know. Let me just maintain my my distance because you know people were in the salon were already. I could feel the tension in the room. They were like, "Oh, looking at me, looking at her." And actually, that's what made me stand up and go and greet her because I could see that people were looking at her and looking at me, right? And I felt like, "No, I'm not going to." feed into this i'm not gonna let people think that yeah. exclusive to post wrong do you understand so i went up to her she was sitting under the dryer at this point so i just tapped her on her shoulder i said hey Tiwa, how are you she said ah oh hey how are you i said i'm fine she said good so i said you know good and our eyes just kind of locked a little bit and we just exchanged pleasantries and then i went back to sit down and then i started talking to the shop owner the hair salon owner. Um, and this is like 20 minutes later. Tiwa came back over to me where I was. And she said, and I quote, Sheyi, in your dirty, stinking life, never ever greet me outside anywhere you see me again. I was so confused. <laughs> but I just said, okay, I won't, sorry. But she still continued to scream. And this time she was screaming that oh me and that bitch you and that bitch victoria kimani you um did, did, you wrote you did a song about me and you think i don't know it was about me she all the things you have done to me over all this time you think i'm gonna forget so then it occurred to me that she was talking about the fuck you challenge that i did in 2017 is it not 2017 or or so and then i was like yeah. exclusive to post what's going on about don't forget, since then, I've seen her outside. Room. We've seen each other in different places. I've said hello. She said hello back. We've even entered the same private jet together. Do you understand? We've said hello. We've taken picture together. So in my mind, I'm like, why is she acting crazy? She's saying me and Victoria Kimani, we're sluts, we're whores, we're a bitch, that me. I'm, I, she will never forget that I'm a bitch. Look at my skin. Meanwhile, me, I just did a chemical pill. So you know how chemical pills leave your skin looking crazy after you've just finished doing one. And I, I looked on her face. She too, it looked like she had done the chemical pill. She was kind of scabbing. But I just said, hey, you know what? She's definitely angry about something, but it cannot be this fuck you challenge. How? After how long? Do you understand? Okay. That's when she not proceeded to scream that. You know, first of all, like, I'm confused at how she could, like, a mother, a mother swears on her son's life. She said, uh, if I'm lying, God should take my son's life right now. If what I say is a lie, God should, like, in my mind, I was so confused. When she said that, I was shocked. Crazy. Because I thought to myself, wait, this girl, what is she swearing on her son's life about? That what? She was not like, she was just being so discombobulated, just saying different things, shouting. Wait, why are you so angry? She said, I mean, I have a black spirit, I have a dirty spirit. And in my mind, I was like, it takes a dirty spirit to know a dirty spirit, girl, you know? And in my mind, I was like, this is so crazy. Even the shop assistants tried to, you know, calm her down and stop her, but she was still charging at me. She wanted to attack me. They actually had to carry away, you know? And I stayed as calm as possible. 
I was just giving her back to send her. So anything she said to me, you're ugly. Yeah, you too, you're ugly. You look at your skin. Hey, you're a whore. Yeah, you're a you're, you're... I said, Siwa, let me not open your yash here, this place. So she said, hey, open my yash. Your yash is open. That you are the most open yash in the industry. Kiniko shall scream. I was like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> 